Recently, I rewatched a documentary called The Secret, based on a 2000, 2006 novel. This documentary talks about how your thoughts become things, which we will get into later. So, as I was watching this documentary, this question popped into my head. Why is the law of attraction, aka the secret, aka manifesting, manifesting so dangerous when it comes to disabilities? So, if you're new to the subject in some way, the secret preaches that your thoughts become things and that you attract things into your life depending on if you have a positive or negative mindset. Initially, it sounds good, but when you start digging, that's when you see how messed up things get rather quickly. And before we start, if you're new to this channel, I do have autism and I do have apraxia, which is a speech disability. And that is why I'm ironically speaking on the subject today. So, back in 2014, I was editing a video for class. My iPad kept crashing this app called iMovie, my editing software. And my emotional dysregulation and anxiety got the best of me. My flapping, rocking, and moaning fled when I lost the footage for the fifth dawn time. And of course, I just put it this way. A formal individual in my life walked into my room. She said, If you're not so frustrated, maybe things will not go so wrong. Reasonable thoughts become things. And then she also added, If you are not acting so frustrated, maybe this will not happen to you. Remember when we, when we watched The Secret last night? Yes, I cried in the middle of my art artistic Oh, autism meltdown. Well, your thoughts become things. You are projecting so much frustration into the universe. And now look what is happening to your movie. Just take a few breaths. Your movie is going to be, your movie is going to be late anyway because you, you spend so much time crying that you do not put your that you that you're not in the mi right mindset to get your movie finished. Then after you're done breathing, You'll write 10 things to be thankful for. I cannot control my thoughts. I cannot control my body either. When I tried replacing my tears with smiles, it made it way worse. My mind began shutting down and attempts to divert every negative thought and worry regarding the iPad. Inside, I tried saying, I am so happy and thankful that my movie is working. I am so happy and grateful that everything is going smoothly and I am so happy and thankful that my assignment's going to be turned in on time. I, I, I. And as suggested by the secret, still, my iPad cry continued crashing my movie even after I rebooted it and said 10 things I was grateful for. Now, I began wondering if I not dissolve for my movie to work since I melted down. Did I let my mind slip into negativity when my iPad initially froze? Or am I getting in air quotes trouble for the earlier meltdown I had at school? The secret suggests that, poor, that the poor stayed poor because of the in quotation marks lack mindset. This raised the question if I was overreacting for my sensory processing disorder, which makes everything ten times brighter, louder, and noisier, and therefore only seeing the negative in everything, even in and also. Even in unideal situations, I thought maybe I was actively seeking out the bad and therefore things appeared worse than they really were. I can actually go on a tangent about toxic relationships and how, and how narcissists use the law of attraction to, manip to manipulate their victims into staying, which is, I know, a completely different subject. And a, and, different, and a different completely and a completely different ram for another day. So going back to so going back to the video so going back to the original question. During editing, I realized that I quickly jumped subjects. I then transitioned to talking about attracting unwanted circumstances. I used a noisy room as my first example. I also I also thought, what if the room wasn't what if the room was not as loud, but my thoughts about noise attracted noise. And what if I, in quotation marks, accidentally attracted these balloons in the, corn, 
balloons in the corner of the room by thinking, please don't be balloons at this party. Please don't be balloons at this party. I can't take any unexpected sounds, popping sounds today or any unexpected noise. I'm too overstimulated. Then, during another instance, the same individual told me how I ended up attracting a dozen orphans, which I am afraid of. I know I just jumped from story to story, but to be honest, that's how my mind works. So if you ever need any clarification or me, or me to rehash any details, please let me know in the comments below. And I would gladly, gladly do so. So going back to orphans, I'm actually afraid of orphans. It is one of my phobias. You know how some people, and you know how some of you may be afraid of spiders, and spiders may make you jump, go run, and go screaming? I am the same way when I see an off form. So, the, so the individual told me how I how I ended up attracting a dozen off forms which I was of which I am afraid of. I told them, no, I am not going to rescue off forms today. I had a long day at school, and I am not mentally ready or physically physically prepared to face my fear today. Keep in mind, I was fourteen. They responded with. If you keep this act up, we will not go to another restaurant for a month. And also, as a side note, I love food and I am a foodie. And after that, they said, well, I know how much you love food. No. I snapped back. Okay. Then I suggest you come rescue the orphans. Oh, look. You just manifested a dozen orphans that weren't there before you started having a hissy fit. Okay. I don't mind eating at home for a month. Thinking back, thinking back for them, I wonder what I did to, to attract my disabilities, the near constant bullying and anxiety. What if I was asking too much from people when it came to accommodations? Was I being too demanding? Oh wait, I was a baby when I got placed for adoption in China. I cannot control my thoughts or circumstances. I develop food trauma in the orphanage. The law of attraction literally bl blames children for their adverse situation. Even if children were forced to control their thoughts, it would not be fair to place that responsibility on the someone. It is not even fair for adults. I can go into a completely, completely different rant specifically about victim blaming when it comes to toxic situations, role, poverty, natural disasters, and much more. After everything that has, has happened, since I watched The Secret for the first time back in 2014, I I, tr I wondered if trying to ignore the noise, bright, bright lights, and overstimulation would manifest my disabilities away. For a while, I tried embracing the, in quotation marks, normal mindset after seeing a scene of a middle class person imagining themselves, imagining themselves in a tuxedo suit during the documentary. The secret suggested that I must hash in quotation marks become what I want to become. Each day I visualize myself surrounded by friends, fitting in the large groups, loud noises not bothering me, not needing my IEP or speech therapy. However, this never worked in middle school or even college. I realized that no matter how hard I tried imagining in quotation marks a normal life, that my disability would that my disability would remain part of my identity. This is why, in my opinion, the law of attraction is dangerous for everyone, especially for people in vulnerable situations. So, I do want to thank you for watching today, and I know that this might have been a really hard video for some of you. So thank you so much for hearing me out, and if you and also if you wish to. And also, if you wish to see more content like this, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.